stumpy stunners. But he's not dwarves, he's orcs. Has he got a wizard? He does have a wizard. Dr. Blotz. He's just got a frenzy. He's, he's got double thrower. <laughs> double thrower and a goblin. <laughs> he won his game. <laughs> Was it by concession? Yeah. <laughs> Surely that's the only way a team with two orc throwers can win. <laughs> what the fuck? Two orc throwers. We might be small, but we are mighty. <laughs> Two throwers and a goblin. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> the, the funny thing is, orc throwers always, without fail, absolutely fucking wreck me. <laughs> In the boat as bad as fucking catch skinks. Holy shit. Wizard. Boo. Could've just got like a oh fuck. You could have just got like something crap like a bribe or something, couldn't you? <laughs> yeah, exactly, Tony. Yeah, setting myself up for failure with this one. But you know. Yeah, unfortunately, not all the teams are in. It would have been good if all the teams were in. We could have looked at all the different, uh, you know, all the teams and everything. I think uh, VGP did a video about it. Um, I wanted to, but was busy over the weekend, so couldn't do it. I couldn't even watch VGP doing it. But, um... I certainly thought Blade was solid. But I mean, I, I knew they all would be. Like, you know, no one's going to be crap, are they? Let's be honest. If I could be serious for a minute. You know, all the formats are pretty much the same, aren't they? Fumble and PC and Xbox and PS4. It's all, it's all pretty much the same. It's all blood ball. I want to start a Chaos Pack team. Um, the same way as Wreckage. So... You could go on Fumble and see what Wreckage does. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a troll for rerolls, and uh, that's about it. He's flanked by guard in case he gets a blitz. Could blitz him. Hmm, don't know. We'll see. Wow. What a kick. <laughs> oh, fuck. And if the pickups fails, it could be horrific. I could surf him even without a troll slayer. I don't need two troll slayers to surf this back. Because um, he'd go in there, right? And then I could have blocked him. And then I could have blocked him and I could have blitzed him. So. Gosh. 
Regretting not following up now, I could have blitzed that black hole. Guess I still could. I think blitzing him is better because it protects the troll slayer. Even though it doesn't doesn't get the knock, it's only a fifty-five percent knockdown instead of a seventy-five. Right, don't fail to pick up. You little bastard. Good. It would be less of a man commitment and without a blitzing commitment. Oh wow, J5 with the stats. <laughs> that is simply not true. The paper does not support your assertion. <laughs> Tom Brandhill, the old, the original logo quarterback. Okay, now. he's he's uh he's surfable now, isn't he? This little uh, this little black orc fuckhead. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm on the right. Burp, burp, burp. Yeah, Re if you look at. Oh, I don't know where the wreckage. Wreckage just came back to tell you what. Uh, it was some league team. Um, I can't remember. The, I can't remember. Rat Salat made a league with the best players on Fumble. Now, some of the people I don't think really were the best players on Fumble, but. <laughs> you know, it was, it was there was nobody bad. I mean, it wasn't the absolute elite of fumble, but there were no bad players in it. Um, and wreckage in that used packed, and he just he did really well the first season. Really. Wouldn't a chainsaw be? I don't know. I like a wizard, especially against like one one a one runner team. Um, I think I just want to pom, don't I? Can block him. Can't block him. So I guess the I could mighty blow blitz him to get a guard in here to make this block. Um, a guard in there to make that block is going to happen anyway. So I'm splitting my team a bit, so maybe I don't blitz with the air troll slayer. So. I don't like splitting my team here. Hmm. Against the wizard. In fact, I'm going to bring him back. Still gonna blitz here. <laughs> Just because I've got to. Yeah. No power in there. He's in surfable position, isn't he? Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, he can go there and then he can block him. Bob could come quite far forward. And even further forward is fine. I could one dice with a loner, I guess. I could leave him abandoned. I don't want to abandon him. I want to keep them both mana. I can't surf him though. I do like getting him in there and him in there. I'll just leave him there. Yeah, okay. One dies with a loan. Just roll a power. What a shit kind. Maybe a bit weak to the wizard here. Maybe I should have got that dwarf. Maybe I should have got this runner back. Wits are back too, spring. What's best on Longbeard's guard is number one. And then, I mean, they they all want guard stand for the Mighty Blow. I think Mighty Blow initially is good because they get star player points faster and you know, you get the, the LOS block, so Happy Mighty Blow is good, isn't it? John Blue, you couldn't. I do hate scheduling, man. Yeah. Yeah. When When is Blue a starting, Valene? And, and what's the format? 19 games round Robin, isn't it? That's a, certainly a better format. I hate this bullshit where, you know, you make a team, you don't care whether you win or lose, really, as long as your team improves. You know, it's fucking, it's fucking horrible. I, I really hate the format of all these big leagues. Obviously, it's great winning them, but um, I just hate the slog of, of, not caring about your team, not caring if you want to lose. Just get star player points on people. And then after you've got star player points on people, get promoted to the top division and then compete for the title. And it's like, not for me. Even though I would like, I would like to be in them and win them. But I mean, <laughs> that's why you know, I nearly, nearly won the UK BPL in the one. The one season I was in it. That sounds pretty good, Valene. Yeah. Yeah, blood your guy to plasma. It'd be better than half of the fucking guys on plasma. I tell you. Getting stuck now, aren't I? A little bit here. The herb dirt basing. Oh, luckily, he's not fully committed. Still not easy against the wizard. Let's start with mighty blow hits. Don't care about what the ball is. Safe moves first. Be damned. Goodbye, armor eight man. Oh, did you get knocked out because you're armor eight? Yeah, you did. Get the fuck off my pitch. Um. I could blitz with him, but there's no point, is there? I can just block. 
herp derp, face face face, this won't fail, I am on the right, herp derp derp. But actually, hmm, I can blitz the goblin potentially and cage over here. Let's go for this. Kinda need this to be a power now. Oh yeah. Obviously this gives him a big fireball, but then on the other hand, if the fireball isn't great, then he doesn't get a lot of benefit out of it. I could just hit the uh, hit the orc thrower is he's almost as good as hitting a goblin. Nah, I still want to hit the goblin now, I think. It's one of my thing. <laughs> Shit. Facing it. Yeah, this might draw the fireball here. Both armor eight players under it isn't ideal. Yeah, believe me, Squirrel Dude, I would, have, I would have been fine with that just being a condition of playing the tournament. Oh, God. That is the absolute, absolute nightmare scenario, isn't it? The, uh, the Agility 3 guy is out. <laughs> The sure hands guy. I mean, at least it's on my drive. But I'll have to buy a second runner now. Yeah, I think Loner Longbeards are the best. Because I think Loner Longbeards are the best loners. Because all they have to do is fucking punch things. And they've got block and armor nine and thick skull and tackle and everything. And you know, get punched. Block and get punched. People, people like to say that um, journeyman elves are good, but I find myself wanting to like do things with elves, elf linemen, like scoring a winning pass or whatever. Whereas, and also if you've got journeyman elves, it means you've got 11 players. Whereas if you've got 11 dwarves, it's not even a problem, is it? Oh, well done, Orc Thrower. Well done. Well done, Orc Thrower, piece of shit. Are you going to get your buddy surf there? Probably. Hmm. Right. So one of these has got a block to free the other one. Ooh, which one's which? They're both on zero. Oh yeah, because one died. Tough Sphere. I didn't name him. I didn't name the fucking Blitzer. I just bought a new blitzer. What the fuck? Really want to surf him. But really want to keep the ball safe. Let's go for the loner block first. No surf. Just gonna box straight ahead just to get the other guy through. Hmm. 
Looks like no blitz. I guess he can stay here for now. So could put a player, mighty blow blitz there. One, two, three, four, come back. Or well, you don't want him to get blitz, and I want to keep him down as well. No blitz. Say hello to my little friend. Seems fucking stupid, doesn't it? Guess I've had to keep the ball, so. Did I? Oh yeah, it's Toph's Viper. I thought it was Toph's... I thought it was... <laughs> I thought it was like Toph Veer. I, I know that fucking name. But I just... <laughs> I looked at it and thought it was like a fucking dwarf name. God, I'm fucking stupid as fuck here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh god yeah that's absolutely right I thought it was like Tor honestly I thought it was like Tor Thor or something I just thought it was some kind of fucking stupid dwarf name I mean you didn't realise <laughs> I just didn't see the name at all <laughs> what an idiot <laughs> Oh, fucking hell. Pretty senile. Yeah, pretty senile. Holy shit. Not blitzing there was terrible, wasn't it? But, like, really couldn't... Couldn't spare anyone. This is too good, him keeping him down. Face the ball successfully. No idea how to deal with that. It's a shame that he's giving up two serves, but obviously I have to blitz. Blitz to free the ball. Would love to pile on that, but have to. have to fucking do things. GFI and then he could two dice him and then he could two dice him or something run away with a dwarf <laughs> just fucking fully potato it nah I think the GFI is not worth Roll this one dice for a push count. I think this is worth it. I just 
go for the uh, go for the thrower. Just to, just because a push would have kept them all more in control. Maybe I shouldn't have potatoed there, but I thought it was too easy to just dodge around and get me if I, I couldn't really cage anywhere. No surfing or panning on you. <laughs> <laughs> Two GFIs, a dodge and two GFIs. Oh, this guy, that's a dodge and, dodge and two GFIs. Yeah. Dodge and two GFIs. Do that exact same play, but without the upside. <laughs> hmm. Face the ball. There are agility three dwarves. There's an agility three that's got the ball, um, and there's an agility three back here. Should be able to get into a cage next turn. But still don't want to go back too far. Right. Irrelevant block first, as is tradition. Just because it might have got us a mighty blow block. <laughs> GFI assists both then, doesn't it? Which is pretty good. I want to get him back to here. Go there. Got two D with him, and then he goes for the yeah. Okay, and just go there. I'm removing all these guys. Well, I say all these guys. Two. I'm only one player up. But it feels like I'm loads of players down. One, two, three. Hmm. I'm going to just have to screen him somehow, aren't I? Here's the cage. Oh well, I found it. I thought I should be able to make a cage. <laughs> Fucking hell. Now it looks like I've planned it perfectly. <laughs> Brilliant. 
the classic having no idea what I was doing that turn, but still ending up in a great cage. Yeah, tiny though. I know. I'm, I know it's shocking not piling on. I'm sorry. Ah, yeah, but some sometimes squirrel do. It's under control, you know. Like sometimes it's the offense is quite smooth, but sometimes you just think, well, how is he outnumbering me here? And he's outnumbering me here. And I'm finding it hard to keep the ball safe. It like... Just sometimes it feels harder than other times. <laughs> yes. He did, he did have to be a cage corner though, didn't he? He really did. <laughs> I'm not trying to tell you that shit can draw a bad team at all, no. I mean, it happens sometimes with Woody's, you know? Sometimes Woody's just feel... A drive feels like you're outnumbered. I mean, maybe he's playing well. Maybe I'm playing poorly. Um, but whatever it is... It's working out for him, isn't it? <laughs> Some school of LOS what? <laughs> <No. laughs> Johnny Hey. Alright, so this guy's up, but he can't do anything. Could he double GFI at the end of the turn? Maybe. He could blitz him, one, two, three, four, and then assist this block, and then make some kind of a cage over there. Yep, alright, that seems reasonable. Less reasonable now. But it's harder for him to come around, around the back side, isn't it? This GFI there. Two, three, four, five. There's no real way to stop this guy. There he's got to go one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. There he's got to go one, two, three, four, five, six, G. Yes, yeah, so he's going to make dodges here. So one GFI is probably not going to be enough. Go here. Yeah, he's gonna make a dodge, hasn't he? Still. No. Isn't it better to go further out? Oh, yeah. That's, probably, that's gonna be better. No. And now there's the backside, which probably we can't do anything about. Just go for the one die. Oh, means you can surf him, but no. one die on the off throw. <laughs> and probably worth a dodge here to hit that thing. Things actually have a reroll. Unbelievable, Jeff. 
Should have let him roll. Should have let him roll the four ones there, shouldn't I? That would have been. That would have been a better idea, leaving him the four ones. But never mind. <laughs> uh, I only have two rerolls clangers, um, but I do think it would be needed at higher TV and in the playoffs. Um, but I only have two. I just got one from a kickoff event. Yes, Volpe's in Kohler. It was it was a very tough game though. He stopped me scoring on offense, and then uh, made a bit of a mistake, I guess, on offense, which allowed me to get lucky and uh, win one now. Yeah, well, it wasn't easy as, as Triperis and Bernie Buffon were acting like it was it was trivial to score, and I don't think it. I really don't think it was trivial to score. Um, I don't know what they were seeing, because whatever they saw, I didn't see. I didn't think it was a. I didn't think it was an easy score at all. I can't make it th three anyway. I thought I could assist with him, but A, he's too far away, and B, there's nowhere to fucking put him. Uh oh. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> You'll probably get both his KOs back, so second half's going to be tough. Yep. I mean, he had two chances to win both is good. Greed is right. So despite having, Greed despite having two mighty blow and a pawn, well, more like three mighty blow, because I didn't really get a pile on. Despite having three mighty blow, nothing. He got one mighty blow hit, made a cas and the apple failed. <laughs> Pretty annoying. It's gonna be tricky down to ten men. I have got skills though and he doesn't really. So. And he's got a goblin which is hardly a man. More like a half man. <laughs> yeah, the double skull fear. I was, there was fear. Hello, TLC. The fear was in me then after that double skull. Holy shit. Pretty tight. Yeah, but to start player points, just get your throw five old, yeah. <laughs> That's what it takes for the, for the blitzers to get star player points in this team. Just, uh... The death of the runner. <laughs> quarter man. Goblin's a half man and runs a quarter man. He didn't get niggled, no, it was uh, the, the uh, it just missed next game and the apothecary said minus agility. <laughs> so miss next game. <laughs> an orc thrower, an orc thrower is No, it's valid, isn't he? He's uh, he's just like uh, he's just a bit crap, but he's still alright. Where's the goblin? To be fair, the goblin's movement six. He's just against dwarves. He's not as mobile as he as he is against other teams. 
Maybe he'll be tempted. He hasn't got any linemen, has he, on this team, I've just realised. There was a, there was a build on that uh, Jackass Rampant. Oh, I can't remember his name. He's got a name, hasn't he? He's, he's got his real name on fantasy football. Um, but he came up with the idea, pretty decent idea for a build with uh, orcs, which started off with like four black orcs, four blitzers, and then either one, two, or three goblins. It was some amount of goblins to uh, to get like a better starting roster, like either rerolls or apothecary or whatever. And then the idea was after the first game, you just sack the goblins and have have journeyman linemen. So you've like increased your starting funds by ten to thirty k. I thought that was a decent idea. I wonder if he's going to do like a black orc foul. I'm not going to get the chance. Yeah, all Kleinos are good, aren't they? Well, they're the second best Linos. Well, they're, they're arguably the best Linos are getting punched. But, um, you know, Wood Elf Linos are good, aren't they? Dwarf Linos are good. There's, there's, they're, they're different for. They're good expendable Linos, aren't they? They're good, like. They're good expendable Linos. I think the best linemen would depend on the positionals, basically, that you have and, and everything at all. It's hard to say that there anything would be the best lineman or whatever, but they certainly do a very good job of just like standing next to something and getting punched. They do that job better than better than uh, zombies do it because who cares about region if you if you're knocked out or cast anyway? You're still down for the drive, aren't you? So. Let's have the let's have the sweeper, the mighty movement five. I don't know, Kelly. Yeah, but they cost seventy k though for Linux. So like having having Zonline alls is really good. Like, if you had six chalk blockers as a positional, you wouldn't want dwarf linos as your linos, you know? So, it's all situational, isn't it? <laughs> you could have not the 16 orc throwers, it would be the best line. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, beastmen, they're not very good as linemen, are they? That's the thing. If you, to be fair, if you stuck a dwarf lino, on a on most teams he'd be a positional, wouldn't he? And the same with a wood elf lineman or a uh, beastman or whatever. So yeah, beastmen are really good. Another another bonus reward. Random. I mean, snotlings are the worst, but even then, you might want a snotling on your team to uh, facilitate some other choice, but I fucking doubt it. Oh, shit. Down to nine? It's probably going to be a draw. <laughs> Crazy, eh? You also get strength and mutation access to overlaying, so... Yeah, playing for block sucks. 80k Beastman compared to a 70 or 90k Dwarf Lino looks horrible. Horns on each and every one of them is good though. Like, it is actually good because... Any random fucking down dude can be like a blitzing threat or recover himself and get himself back into the play. So it is actually really good having horns everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, Jenny Five. <laughs> I don't know.
No, oh, it's brilliant. That's that's great. Pies and cakes. That's fantastic. I'm I'm glad that you uh, that you've enjoyed it. It's brilliant. I've been helpful. I mean, he he can play for the win now. Nine men is is terrible for dwarves, isn't it? Ah, good job he's got sure hands. Could blitz him. Block him, maybe. Block both of these. Get a guard in there. This guard in here. Two dice him, one dice him. Player there, blitz him. One, two, three, four. Another guy there. Two dice him. So I could two dice him, him. Him and him. Not blitzing with Pom. Outrageous. Safe moves first. Block first to see if the guard's in for the assist there. Yes. So he can come in for the assist there. It's nice that he gave me four blocks there. He gave me four two dice blocks with his positioning. My reward is nothing <laughs> from two with mighty blow. Two with mighty blow, get nothing. He makes his blocks. <laughs> He's just getting the removals, isn't he? It's tough. It is tough with dwarves if you go down men. It really is. I do like 12 with dwarves. Yeah, TRC. Yeah, it's tough. It's really tough. Seven one zero. You could get a thrower if I mean it would help you with a two turn and one turn, wouldn't it? Um, gives you more options against a wizard. It's not terrible to have a thrower, um, but obviously you pay you pay TV for it, and also um, <sighs> oh, that's good. Um, You know, it, it costs 20 more, so if you push for cash with elves, it's, it's sometimes hard to justify actually paying the extra 20k. I think I've got to blitz the scoring threat. <laughs> That's fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, I think that's I think that's it. I'm just scared of the thrower. A throw a goblin combo. And another one. Oh, 
these armor bricks are fucking making it hard, hard to do anything. Just quietly. At least these three guards could dominate the Black Orc. Okay, let's go for this. Run out of time. I do not like that the timers are a random length. That wasn't the full 15 seconds. Just stopped, didn't it? It wasn't full 15, I'm pretty sure. You could clip it, I'm pretty sure that wasn't the full 15 seconds. Pretty sure it wasn't. Anyone just take myself, to take him out? Because I'm down players, I didn't want to take himself out for the next thing. It's not really a no brainer, it costs three squares of movement next time. Yeah, it was like seven seconds, yeah. It's fucking, like, how how can you not have a 15 second timer that actually lasts 15 seconds? Shouldn't that be like, like, a basic fucking requirement for making a fucking game? Holy shit. <laughs> well, well Tinnathor, um it was all one long montage lasting 27 years. Ah, uh, maybe it is Johnny Five, yeah, because they do that run around thing as well, so maybe it's my fault. Hopefully it'll be alright, because I don't think it happened on, in Germany, so maybe it'll happen. Did he just do a GA5 for no reason? No, no, it's 25 dodge. He's going for that pass handoff. Score on the throw. And I can't score, though. Hmm. Just a potato. Score, made a one in six chance to use for, for some reason. <laughs> Reroll gone. <laughs> well played. <laughs> uh, could probably free up this guy. Actually, the GFI stopped him basing. Can 
block him, then block him, push him forward one. But then he would still have to dodge anyway because he'd be pushed into him. He could. He could GFI the base. I'll just blitz him and then base with him. confused thought I could block these two away and then free up the run the blitzer now if I push him he's not freed still if he pushes him it's alright Can still free up the blitzer. at the end. Going for the win, but he's down to one reroll, isn't he? And he's going to have to use it this turn if he fails this dodge or block. Whichever one he goes for. That's a very good point, Wayne Farrell. Yeah. Wow, Wolf Park, that's brutal. That's pretty brutal. Yeah, so maybe that's it. Maybe when I'm back in Germany, it'll be on uh, the time this thing. Did the right play of doing the blitz? Well done. <laughs> you could even stall now. Shit. Get to ten players that got a chance. If I stay at nine, it's going to be rough. <laughs> no one back for the ball. <laughs> well, three rerolls so I can make some GFIs and maybe a handoff or something. Of a blitz, I guess. Do a frenzy. Uh, the record's like seven zero one or six zero one. 
something like that. He can just pick it up. He can pick it up and go forward one. That one extra forward movement might make the difference in the end. We'll see. I shouldn't have piled here. Four rewards, that's good. Yeah, I had the greed pile on, didn't I? I mean, I've got the greed. I'm down to 10 players without the runner. <laughs> so, it's pretty tricky. Obviously, having all the guard is very good. I guess I should have gone down one sideline with the with the transfer, shouldn't I? Use his frenzy to uh, to like make a hole. These damn dwarfs, Jimmy. Go back to ogres. <laughs> Thank you very much, Thor. Thanks for staying fantastic for ten minutes. Wow, that's amazing, Bulbies and Cola. <laughs> Thirty thousand <laughs> flying to California. Wow. Oh, hello, Sena eighty nine. Didn't know you were here. Hello, Mister Young and Dan. Yeah, that's. It's scary, isn't it? The classic four-turn touchdown with the ball. But that, that pylon is probably stupid. Now we've got to go rush to the line this turn, haven't I? Make some kind of weird cage. Where probably just stands up to get knocked down by a black hole. Here's one. Could blitz him. Stand there for the assist. And block and then blitz him. Or alternatively stand here, put a player here. Stand here, player here, player here, blitz him. And then move him in. I guess that's... I'd rather be forward though. But I guess this is more sensible. Maybe I could go one forward. 
we'll put a player here. Yeah. I think every every square closer is better at the at the moment. Have to take the push there, don't you? That's pretty shit. It's got mighty blow though, maybe an armor break? No, this is rough. <laughs> front of the page. <laughs> Brutal front of the page. Front of the cage. Brutally based. It does indeed look difficult to get past. Clear down here because it's all right. No. If I hadn't been basing him, I would have got the boat down on him, then wouldn't have been blocked. So maybe I shouldn't have got that extra square forward. He's going to uphill the ball? Wow. Bold. Thinking about just trying to hang on for the one, <laughs> the one one now. <laughs> I, I can't try to win, can I? Stupid that being one man down makes this game pretty much unwinnable. Let's see. What I can possibly do. Have him do that helps too. Much. I can't switch sides or anything because I'm moving fine. I mean, obviously, it's the runner as well, which is probably the worst player to be down. Um, <laughs> yeah, the old boy. Yeah. Could maybe turn the corner here. Um, but not really. It'd have to be a one dice here. And then one, two, three. Four, five, geo. I think it's just horrible, isn't it? But then what else can I do? I can't. I can't. Brute force through the middle, so I have to kind of try to switch. Could just frenzy trap, but then I don't get to move him around anymore. He could one dice blitz. And he could block there. But then the catch is throws there. He could just stand up, he could blitz. Two dice in one uphill. Or he could blitz. One, two, three, four to make that two D. That's probably the best bet, isn't it?
four GFIs. This is now <laughs> four GFIs to score. She <laughs> had a movement ten sprint show feet walk blitzer. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I can try uh, the troll slayer is kind of a handoff target, I guess. But this blitzer isn't really, because he's out of range now. Rough. Very rough. I mean, probably had two dice in the ball here. Just got to try to get a potato next turn. But even that might not be good. Well, he's only got one turn. So if he doesn't have anyone in scoring range this turn, then I can completely potato it. Base the ball. <laughs> Blood ball 101, base the ball. I, I didn't, that would have been the right call against with only two turns left and having a GFI four times. I think mean, you should have based the ball. Puts all throws in the ball with starter. <laughs> oh, brilliant old throw. Oh man, he was set up for the double then, double one then, wasn't he, the old throw? Holy shit. Not seeing a play here, really. <laughs> One dice, a bunch of dudes, hope I pile them all. And then potato. Really? So he has some in scoring range. Don't get the one dice a bunch of dudes. Oh no, the orc throw is going to get us. <laughs> no. <laughs> right, he can block him. And then he can block him. No, he can block him. Then he can block him. And then he's free. He can one dice him. Then he can one dice him. And then we can dodge away and be free. Right, this doesn't even look hard, actually. Guard could go in there, and then this could be a two dice, and then he could go. Oh yeah, this this looks actually pretty good. Oh no, but then there's he's got to go straight directly forward, hasn't he? So he has to go here. 
this has to be a one then. And this has to be a one dice as well. That was enough, wasn't it? That was enough moves for the play. <laughs> Glorious. They did get plus one reroll to kick off, yeah. Yeah, they did. <laughs> 22 GFIs. That was shawny like that, wasn't it? That play there. Got what I needed, though. Needed the power one then. Man, I guess need just push on the one dice. But both down wasn't good enough, so it was a three plus on both of them. Also, push is no good for him here, is it? Because he can't get the angle. Wow. Oh, I guess bad. <gasps> Maybe I shouldn't have gone there. In the crowd. Oh, God. Oh, God. Maybe I shouldn't have gone there. Maybe I should have counted squares. One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI, GFI. I could have been here. For fuck's sake. So I don't know if you remember when I had the uh what was the what was the game the uh when I lost to the lizard men. I put a player here instead of here and it lost me the game. And now I've put a player here instead of here and it's lost me the game. That's fun, isn't it? That's fucking fun and interactive. I mean, I know he's not going to fail anything with no rewards. Wow. Fucking... Oh! Tackle. Tackle for the win. It is good against stunties, isn't it? Not fucking good against anything else, really. Seeing as I'll just roll a 2 plus anyway. But yeah, it draws alright, I guess. That the, the wizard was an absolute killer. I don't think I used... Did I use one reroll all game? On an irrelevant dodge? Fully prepared from the score there. That's it's annoying, isn't it? Should have counted squares in both those situations. I did the opposite of what I should have done. No point. I could get him to start play points because then I might then I might sign him.
got a draw against two orc throwers. Jimmy is truly a great BB coach. <laughs> Other coaches would have conceded for fear of losing. Not Jimmy. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. <laughs> wow, that's a bit harsh, Johnny Fry. It's a bit harsh. <sighs> Well, and yet, yet the match says that I got 13 AV breaks. I mean, I did make a few stuns on my offensive drive, to be fair. But, um, only stuns. 11 stuns he took. Meanwhile, he made two cars. And, uh, three cars. Hmm. Oh yeah, because one was the uh, wizard, wasn't it? Ah, oh, three cards. It's not three cards because one of them was the uh, was the app or reroll, wasn't it? I think it only took two cards. It could have been a lot downside better, yeah, yeah. But it wasn't. It, you know, you're gonna draw some as as any bash team. Bash teams can't win as consistently as agility teams can they because the uh, you know the strategies are dictated by you know much more by the having the men on the pitch and stuff and having a man advantage. If you, if you men down as a bash team, you're going to struggle. Whereas Wood Elves, being men down, just literally don't care at all. Well, they do care, but you know, <laughs> this is what a stupid statement. <laughs> they don't care nearly as much as bash teams. And also, if bash teams are down TV, they're just down more strength, down more guard, and there's no counter to that. Whereas, elves with a wizard can do a lot of stuff, can't they? Oh, Mr. Throw is going to be the other runner, for sure. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.